In this video, I'll show you an excellent game for your throwing and catching unit. Let's catch a wave with Beach Ball Bash. Hi there, I'm Rob Carroll from Front Range Physical Education. Today we're going to look at a game that compares to Monster Ball, but with a tropical twist. And if you're looking for how to adapt it for your lower grade levels, stick around to the end. Let's go! Taking a look at the equipment that I used for Beach Ball Bash, I used about 20 small foam tennis balls, slash nerf balls, slash even small dodge balls, uh, 4 beach balls, 10 mats that I say act as beach blankets. They're not necessary, it just helps the students stay behind the black lines. And then I used four floor hockey goals. Here's a quick look at how I set up the gym for this activity. As you see, I put the two hockey goals right in the middle of the gym. The mats are on the outside that represent beach blankets, but you can use the black line as well. I'm very lucky we have volleyball lines, so the actual hockey nets are sitting on the green line in the volleyball court. The two you see at the end is what I call the sandbox. This is the penalty box for students who commit violations. The first thing I'm going to do is divide uh, everyone up into two teams. And I stress the importance of staying on your beach towels and not crossing the black line. Or you may have to go sit in the hot sand. After placing them onto two teams, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a lifeguard from each team. Now you need a little tip is make sure your lifeguard is going to be somebody that's going to really hustle. When I start the music, the students will start throwing the smaller balls at the beach balls, trying to knock them in to the opposite goal. The lifeguard's responsibility is to kick the balls or throw the balls back to their own team so they can keep throwing the balls at the beach balls. The lifeguard should absolutely avoid any contact with the beach ball whatsoever. When a point is scored, I will yell, reset, reset, reset. And all the students will run out and collect all the balls and the lifeguards will put the four beach balls back into the middle. Then they will choose another person to be the next lifeguard. The sandboxes at the end are penalty boxes for people that commit violations, such as crossing onto the court, Throwing a ball from Y on the court. Um, interfering with a beach ball as it's going in. Throwing a ball directly at a lifeguard on purpose. They'll have to go sit in the sandbox. Now that doesn't mean they're out of the game. They need to sit down. They're not allowed to stand up in the sandbox. If the ball does roll to them, they are allowed to throw it. When a point is scored, they may return to action. You guys need to stay on your lunch, get back on your eight. Get set, go! Just right at the balls. No, Liliana, stay back. Here's a quick look how I changed things up for pre-K through first grade. I put them on teams of four and put them at the end line. I took the nets, I put them in the middle of the court, starting at the free throw line. To stay with the theme, I gave them all a beach ball and they took turns rolling the beach ball from their mat into the net. For round two, I just moved the nets back to the half court line. And for round three, we went back to the other free throw line. We switched from the beach ball to the soft dodge balls and they just took turns rolling those, counting up the points that each time that their team made it in. My students had a blast playing beach ball bash and your students will too. And here's another cool game right here for your throwing and catching unit. And here's another cool game right here that YouTube says you're going to love. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great one.